yeah. ideal and evidence. And if everybody, one of the things that we want to, I wanted to do with the book was to increase the intellectual tone around discussions of drugs. But in order to do that, we all have to play by the rules of evidence. But if people are allowed to have their faith-based beliefs, right, in which I just I say can't, that's that can't yeah. possibly be true, doctor. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't do right. anything about that. I mean, and so I just. So I'm trying to speak to the people who believe in evidence. So but eventually, evidence and truth came to light. And so I hope with the book that we can do the same thing with other areas. So finally, what is, what is the takeaway? What lessons have we not learned about methamphetamine? I want to show this chart real quick because this blew my mind. How many people use meth in a lifetime? 12.3 million people use meth in a lifetime, according to uh, data collected, the CDC data? Uh, no, that's the uh, SAMHSA. Uh, the SAMHSA movie, yeah, Substance Abuse Mental Health Services. How many people had used it in 2012, in the entire year, 1.2 million? How many had used it in the last month of the study? Half a million. Yeah. That's not very many people in a country of 300 million. That's right. So methamphetamine, the use of methamphetamine has always been relatively low. It's just that the hysteria uh, uh, alter, uh, is increased and decreases periodically. But the use has always been well below the use of cocaine, well be what considerably lower than the use of marijuana and other drugs. So you think we are repeating what we did in the, in the late 80s, early 90s with crack with methamphetamine right now? We, we certainly are. We punish uh, methamphetamine more harshly than any other drug other than crack um, um, and, and the hysteria when we start to see things like the meth mouth there's virtually no evidence for like this dental decay that we see that p these pictures that people show really there's virtually no evidence so when we think about methamphetamine think about Adderall Adderall is the detention deficit disorder drug right. that a lot of college students yep, take yep. Uh, same drug nobody's talking about it's not the same drug it's the exact same drug. The only difference is that methamphetamine has a methyl group attached to it, but we did a study in which we, uh, along with other people, in which we uh, tested the effects of a drug like Adderall compared to methamphetamine. They produced identical effects. They, they are almost identical chemically in terms of the chemical structure. Uh, they're the same effect. And so but we have these wildly different narratives surrounding these drugs, and that's what that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stop the hysteria so we don't make the same mistakes. Now, that's not, that's not to say that we still can't give information to keep people safe. Yes. And that's not to say that we, wanna, we don't want to discourage people from using illicit drugs, because right. we do. Right. But we, I want to think about, I want the country to think about this in the same way we think about sex education. So we know that it's illegal in many states to have sex before 18 or something of that nature. But we still provide condoms, education to folks to help keep them Quite safe. controversially, I'd add. It is controversial, <laughs> right. but we don't want children having babies. Right. We don't want children dying from wanna... uh, sexually transmitted infections. We don't want that sort of thing, so we want to keep them safe. People will use illicit drugs, even though we want to discourage that. But we will be irresponsible not to provide education mm. to help keep people safe. And wait till Fox News gets a hold of the, like, drug education curriculum put together by Dr. Carl Hart. Our teachers teach, I mean, seriously, like, the headlines write themselves. I right? have to tell you, man, the people at Fox News, they love me. I'm on, I'm on I know, Fox. I knew you on the time. <laughs> Um, Dr. Carhart, it's, it's a really, I, I cannot recommend the book highly enough. It's called High Price, A Neuroscientist's Journey of Self-Discovery that challenges everything you know about drugs in society. It's one of those subtitles, your whole world will be rocked, that actually delivers because it really has just completely uh, revolutionized the way I think about all this. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.